Hello friends, I am Stanislav Chernonog, the author and creator of the online school of Vector Massage and Somatics. In this video we will talk about the five main areas of work with the buttocks and pelvis in general. Why is there so much attention to buttocks in culture? This is not due to the fact that we are so vicious and think only about sex. This is due to the fact that the buttock area is directly related to human health in the sense of reproduction, in the sense of procreation. We involuntarily look at the buttocks area, because if a person's buttocks are in order, then most likely everything will be fine with his health and with his reproductive system. And if the buttocks are flat, saggy or fat, then this indicates a wide variety of problems that a person may have in the pelvis and with health in general. The bad news is that if you are not very happy with your buttocks, or not at all happy, then most likely you will have health problems. The good news is that even if you have problems with your buttocks, if you are dissatisfied with them, they can be cured and the condition of the buttocks can be noticeably improved. In this video we will tell you about the key areas of the pelvis, how to work with them and what in fact it will give you. The first main zone is the buttock area located along the cross. This is a triangle between the buttocks along the sacrum and along the ilium. It is worth spending as much time on it as you have enough patience. It can be 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes even 15 minutes. Focus on the soreness in the human body. If the soreness slowly begins to decrease, then this is a good sign and you are working correctly. The results of working with this zone will be an improvement in blood circulation in the pelvis, improvement of the functioning of organs, the pelvis in women, and there will also be a decrease and changes in the preacher's zone, which worries such a large number of women now. The next important area will be the zone of the middle gluteal muscle. In the gluteus maximus is attached rather narrowly along the sacrum and ilium, then the gluteus medius is attached quite extensively, it has a different physiology and other functions. It has a very significant effect on the balance of the right and left pelvis. If your pelvis is skewed, then you should pay special attention to the area of the middle gluteal muscle. We wash it out with it. Again, we take it out with the help of a cam, with the help of fingers, we rub it, we shift it. Again, at the beginning it can be quite painful, and after a while your patients will begin to enjoy and ask and wait for this work. The next important zone is the zone of the small gluteal muscle. It is located between the large trochanter of the femur and the sole of the bone. There is a solid zone along the lateral surface of the thigh, and if we go down a little higher, there will be a space, a dimple, in which many small muscles are located that control the trochanter of the femur. Accordingly, very often there are stagnant phenomena, very often there are inflammatory processes, and this has a very destructive effect on human health. Accordingly, working with this zone will bring you a noticeable improvement in your health, it will give you lightness in your legs, ease of movement and improved well-being. The next important area is the area on the top of the ilium. The oblique abdominal muscles are attached here. The widest back muscle is attached here. Here it is. She did not formally belong to the pelvis, but tell this to the girls that she does not belong to the pelvis and you will be subjected to their condemnation and disapproval. It is very important to work out the upper edge of the ilium. Again, we work through it by kneading, stretching, rubbing, and this will lead to the waist becoming much thinner and more refined. This zone has a significant impact on the state of the digestive system and also significantly affects the state of the pelvic organ. And finally, the last fundamentally important area to work with is the sacral ligament area. If in the previous areas we worked with large surfaces, with the base of the palm, the fist, the palm as such, then we need to work with the sacral ligament through the fingers. We have, relatively speaking, three main ligaments of the sacrum. The names are complicated, so I won't confuse you with them. The first ligament is located at the place where the sacrum connects the pelvic bone from above. The second is located where the buttocks converge. And the third is located at the level connecting the sciatic bone and the sacrum. All of them are extremely important. Problematic ligaments from a specific feeling as if we are stabbing in the process of pressure a person with something sharp. This is a very local stabbing sensation. 
It is necessary to move along the edge of the sacrum, consistently finding sharp points and working through them. The condition of the sacral ligaments has a decisive impact on your entire health. If the sacral ligaments are not in order, then it is impossible to say that you will ever be able to be healthy without sacral ligaments. Overall health is determined by how freely you move, how much energy you have, how well you sleep, whether your lower back hurts. All this is pretty much tied to the well-being of the sacral ligaments. Friends, at the end of this video it is important for me to convey to you that despite the fact that working with the buttocks and pelvic area is extremely important and useful for your patients, at the same time it is fraught with dangers. There is a problem of the sciatic nerve. There is a problem that you will give an excessive load to the sacral ligaments, which will cause an exacerbation. Finally, there is the problem that it is necessary to adjust the technique of work depending on the condition of the patient. Thank you very much for watching. Stanislav Chernonok, the author and creator of the School of Vector Massage and Somatics, was with you. Subscribe to the channel, a channel where we teach you how to do massage and earn money from it. If you want to receive regular notification that new videos are coming out, then click on the bell under this video and you will receive regular push notifications which will allow you not to miss the videos that we release. See you on our channel and I suggest you watch this video.